Hello lads, so today we're back with another one of these uh, challenges, challenge video things. Today we have centers v point guards. Basically, win the game and prevent your opponent from scoring a single point in the paint. Surprisingly, uh, people kept telling me this was a bad, like a difficult challenge. I didn't actually that find it that difficult. So, obviously you limited the centers. So, I have Shaq, Kareem, and Chris Stapps. Obviously, you don't need these. I recommend players like Giannis. I recommend players like, obviously, uh, Kevin Durant. Players like that. They are quite cheap now. Obviously, if you're using, like, regular centers, it might be a little more difficult for you. But, obviously, we are on next gen. Normally, I make these on current gen. But, I just find that current gen doing this... Oh, that's going to be tough. But, yeah, on current gen... I get, guys, I literally, like, I'm just, I'm sorry. That's just literally, that's all I can say. I'm sorry. Um, but on, on next gen, it's actually not too bad. Literally, all you do, and we got very lucky here. I don't know how I got away with that. But all you do is with your big center, so the one that you use to, uh, use square to control, just sit him in the paint and let John Wall shoot. That's literally all I can stress to you guys. Let them shoot. Do not let them in the paint. Got, okay, <laughs> I got very lucky there. But yeah, that's a failed attempt. So we're going to get into the actual real attempt. So that's a failed attempt. They weren't, in terms of like failed attempts, there's only like two or three attempts, I think, that uh, took me to do this. So we back out, we go right back in. So Chris Stapps, Kareem, Shaquille O'Neal is the team that we're going to use. I caught the play in taking Shaq out for a bit, but I thought you just chuck Patrick Ewing in there. Yeah, it'll be fine. But again, you do have some, obviously, just it's just other centers you can use. You can use the new Chris Bosch that came out in on Friday. You can use, obviously, that um, Invincible, not Invincible, Dirk. I mean, you can if you want, but you can use that, that cartoon Dirk. Because again, all you have to do is just let them shoot. Now, John Wall, guys, you have to remember this is regular Hall of Fame. This is this is uh, next gen Hall of Fame. It's not as broken as current gen. All you do is just let John Wall shoot. That's literally all you have to do. Let him shoot, and then on the off opposite end, just go, just score however you want. Curry slide, three pointer, however you want to score. That's how you score on current on next. All you have to do on defense. It's just sit in it's just sit on the paint with your with your guy with your biggest center. Just cause I mean it's just easy. Like it's it's literally that easy. As you can see with Chris Stapps, I've sort of figured it out here. Just like Chris Stapps sort of just sit near the paint, sort of guard the paint. He pulls up for a shot and he bricks it. Uh John Wall actually ends the game on five of eleven shooting. We find Chris Stapps wide open in the corner, and I just had to knock it down with I keep saying Chris Stapps, that's Kareem, not Chris Stapps. But yeah, like literally all you have to do is just with with Chris Tapps, just sit in the paint, let John Wall shoot, and most often than not, he's gonna brick. Yes, he will make one or two. But I was on guys, if he if he shoots seven of seven, I'll give you guys like 50k. Because I, I he, he's not shooting seven of seven. We got kind of screwed there. Um <laughs> that's also my fault. Let's be real. But yeah, off the off the inbound. Give it to Chris Tapps. Chris Tapps does a nice little spin and gets the easy two points. So we're on nine points currently. Now, I'm sort of like thinking that the method will work, just letting him shoot, just because obviously I've got nine, they've got six. He's only made two, about to make the third one right here. Uh, so we're tied here. So here I was kind of sort of thinking, right, this might not actually be a viable method. So I sort of like, as you can see, Shaq just... Shaq on next is so much better on, than he is on current. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, all we're doing is... I sort of then sort of had the idea of him just sitting at the top of the... Top of the uh, free... Like, basically by the free throw line. Say he runs down in the middle of the court. Chuck uh, your... Obviously, your taller player. Like, just on the tip of the free throw line. Just so you can stick an arm up. Because Chris Stapps is obviously 7 foot 3. If he sticks an arm up, he can get a very wide berth of... Um, obviously, distance to contest the shot. As you can see, we just have him sit in the paint. He chucks up a shot. And he manages to brick it. So... I basically as soon as I figured out that this was actually a decent method all I really wanted to do was just score this next basket kind of screwed up there but score the next basket get to 15 points and then I'm very confident of winning we got very lucky there I somehow anticipated the um somehow anticipated the lob but we check out the shack shack plows it through now if you don't have players like obviously the invincible shack Chris Stapps, players like that what I recommend, look at that, he breaks, it, breaks a mid-range, you'll love to see it. Yeah, what I would recommend is you have a player like uh, out of position Kevin Durant, uh, out, um, radioactive Giannis, he's a really good one as well. Both of them are centers, and both of them do a very good job, because all, all I'm doing is just driving, and Giannis and Durant are very good at driving on next gen, especially because you have to remember, you're up against point guards, so, you know, there's not that much distance, so to speak, of like, there's not that much competition you're going to find of just getting past them. So he chucks up a shot there, manages to knock it down, but what we're going to do, obviously, we only need to score two more baskets. They need to score three, I think, off the top of my head. Yeah, they need to score three baskets to win. I only need to score two. 
So I'm sorry, like taking my time here. To get Chris Stapps. What easy, easy baskets. And that's literally all you have to do, guys. It's a very easy challenge, especially on next. Now, if you're on current, I, I, guys, I wish, I just wish I could help you out. It's just I've tried this three times on current, and it just like because because the CPU is just such a stupid thing. Look at this. <laughs> this is why I don't like uh, next. Like, and there, this is why I don't like next. But yeah, like, the game is just so dumb. Like, it's such a dumb game. Like, you'll find that, obviously, current, the players will just make literally anything. I wish 2K would tone down the sliders on current. They should have done it as soon as the game came out, because the sliders were terrible uh, when the game came out anyway. But if you are on current, guys, I'm sorry. I don't really know how to help you out. The only thing I can suggest is, like, like... <laughs> I literally, I literally can't think of one. All you have to do, you could try the way I'm doing it in that, obviously, you just sit the player in the paint. But obviously, they're more inclined to make shots, especially because it's on Hall of Fame. So, in terms of that, guys, I'm, I'm just sorry. I'm just really sorry. I don't, I don't really know how to help you out in that case, unfortunately. But we do get Dark Matter John Collins. Again, it's fun. If you're on Next, guys, if you have access to Next, even if you don't like it, then just load up on next, do the challenge, and then get off the hellhole that is next gen. So, yeah, we get Dark Matter John Collins. If you guys have enjoyed the video and found it helpful, smash a like on the video. It does help out the channel a ton. And it gets the, basically gets it out to more people just so we can all have some of these nice Dark Matter cards. So, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed it again, smash a like on the video. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace. Thank you a massive shout out to channel members Mario Santos, Michael, Lewis, Lindsay Nell, Kev, Anz, Hans, Wallow, Casey, Magic Magpie, Michael, Kia, and Jack. Thank you guys so much for all your support.